Hi everybody, this is Eric from Switched, and today we're going to be adapting the Fisher-Price Dance and Groove Rocket. Here's the list of tools you'll need to adapt this toy. It's pretty simple and I'll help walk you through every step. Starting with the toy on its belly, we're going to remove the 10 screws that hold the back plate together. It's just a standard Phillips head screw. Uh, remove all 10 and that will release the back plate. Once the screws are removed, go ahead and pull off the back of the toy. So the next thing that we need to do is remove the toy's right arm. And in order to do that, we need to remove this spring that holds it into place. Once that spring's removed, you can pull the arm up and out. And it's still attached by some wire, so just kind of move it out of the way. And we're going to drill our hole for our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, this is a great place right here, right above the arm to drill your hole. And once your hole is drilled, we're gonna go ahead and fish our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack wire through that hole. And then we're going to secure it with a zip tie. Now what the zip tie is gonna do is keep kids from accidentally yanking that wire out of the toy, helps keep it secure. So once you um, get that zip tie in place, give it a good tug to make sure it's not gonna slip out and you can go ahead and cut off any extra zip tie. So now it's time for a little soldering and we're gonna solder these points right here, kind of right behind where the arm was. Uh, one wire is gonna go to each one of these uh, little points and it doesn't matter which wires goes to which, but you wanna make sure your uh, solder points are nice and secure. And once you've got them soldered together, it's a good time to give your toy a test before you put everything back together. Make sure that everything is working as it should. That's right. That's blue. Oh, green too. Orange, purple, yellow. So if everything is working as it should, now we need to reinstall the right arm. And to do that, we have to rehook that spring that we removed. So you might need a set of tweezers to kind of get that uh, spring head over the little bracket there, but it shouldn't give you much issue. And for our toy, our left arm had fallen out, so we need to make sure that we resecure that. Also, it, attaching it to the spring on the left side. And once both arms are put back together, you can reinstall the back plate. And go ahead and reinstall the 10 screws that hold it into place. Once all the screws are back in, you are done. Switch Adapted Toys, making play possible. For more free videos, sign up on our website at www.switchtoys.org.